oh no, it's happening all over again. And I, I don't know what it is about me, but I'm pretty sure animals love me. I was like, this is it. I'm done with surfing. I'm never going to surf again. Two days after that, I changed my mind and I'm like, no way. I cannot quit surfing. And if you're a surfer, there's the saying that goes, only a surfer knows the feeling. The biggest fear for me was to actually jump back into the water at the place I was attacked at, Nahoon Reef. So this here is the spot that I was attacked at many years ago. And then two years after my shark attack, I remembered surfing maybe just 500 or 600 meters away from where I had previously been attacked. Water is super dirty and brown. And all of a sudden, bam, I got hit super hard from behind by a shark. And I went flying into the sky. My board shot out one way. I went the other way. Well, the shark swims away. I get onto my surfboard. My friend is staring at me with wide open eyes, freaking out. I get onto my surfboard and we both lie on our surfboards with our hands and feet in the sky like this, as if that's going to help, you know? And I, I just didn't know what to do. I'm like, oh, it's happening all over again. And we managed to see a wave come. We caught this wave and we got to the beach quickly and we escaped that moment. One year after that incident, I went to Jeffrey's Bay and myself and some friends were busy free surfing at the point before a contest was about to start. There were about 50 people surfing, warming up early in the morning. And I just caught a wave and paddled past this one guy. And as I paddled past him, I sat down to wait for a wave. And as I sat down, I heard this commotion behind me. And I looked behind me and there's this big great white shark just attacking the surfer and thrashing from side to side and everyone's screaming and freaking out, shark, shark. And everyone like catches the last one or two waves, heads straight towards the beach. And when I see the shark, I'm the closest personal surfer to this shark. And I'm like, oh, it's happening all over again. And I wanted to get out and go to the beach because I got such a fright, it was so scary. So I started paddling towards the beach and the shark was in between me and the beach. So I had to paddle around the shark. And as I got to the tail end of the shark, this surfer pops up alive next to the shark. And I'm like, oh, this guy is alive. And I realized that I was the only person left in the water. I was the closest to him and I had to go help him out. So I had a choice. Do I paddle to the beach and save my own life or do I go back and rescue this guy from a shark attack. That was one of the scariest and the most difficult decisions I ever had to make. I wanted to get to the beach and, and escape the shark. I wanted to survive, I wanted to live. And um, I was like, no, no, I know what it's like to be left alone in the water, so I need to go back and help this guy. So I said a quick prayer, please God help me, keep us safe. I paddled towards the surfer, try giving my surfboard. I'm like, hey, jump onto my surfboard. He's like, no, no, I'll just hold on. And I'm like, no, jump on, I'll paddle you towards the beach. And he's like, no, no, I'll just hold on and we paddle together. And I'm like, no, jump on. He's like, no, I'll hold on. And while we were having this like argument, the shark is like still knocking him and thrashing him from behind on his back. And he's like, no, no, I'll just hold on. And it was the craziest thing ever. The shark bumping him and knocking him while it's thrashing from side to side. So he holds onto the surfboard, the shark disappears, the surfboard pops up in three pieces, and I'm like, this isn't good. 
it was so scary like just not knowing where the shark was and if the shark was going to come back for us or not and i'm like please god keep us safe and i'm busy paddling hard towards the beach he's holding on with one hand paddling with the other and fortunately we get to the beach safely and alive and also on top of that fortunately the sofa wasn't bit at all fortunately the shark when it attacked him it bumped him first and he fell off the surfboard and then the shark grabbed the surfboard and shook the surfboard and broke the board in three pieces one of the most important things i learned is to just face my fears we all have fears everyone's got some kind of fear and of course mine was to jump back into the water and to maybe have a shark attack again and you know going into the ocean and surfing the waves is one of my greatest passions it's really fun it keeps me fit and healthy it's a social sport as well and being outside in nature is amazing those are experiences that i want to enjoy and i don't want fear to hinder that and to hold that away from me so i feel like fear often steals from people and i didn't want fear to steal and rob from me so i just face those fears went into the water and surfed regardless. I also learned to be thankful and grateful for my life. I was given a second chance and I want to make the most of my life. Thanks for watching. Press follow and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Woo!